New Earth Cosmic Conversations. This is Enrita Melchizedek, and I'd like to welcome you to New Earth Cosmic Conversations that we're setting up here Fridays at 9 p.m. Pacific Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Time, 4 p.m. GMT, and at 6 o'clock my local time here down in Cape Town. So welcome, beautiful hearts. It's so wonderful to be connecting with all of you again. And I'm so delighted to be presenting our beautiful co-hosts and panelists for today's show. We have A.D. Shub, who's a local to Cape Town, a local Kryptonian as myself, and someone I've known for many, many years, a beautiful healer, massage therapist, teacher and way shower in her own way. So I'm so very delighted to have A.D. on the show with me. Welcome, welcome, A.D. We have Dorota Rasmus. Dorota is from Poland, but she spends a large part of her time in her beautiful home in Spain. And she is really a voice alchemist, having the most extraordinary voice, hosting workshops, and just sharing her light in her own magnificent way. So welcome, Dorota. It's so wonderful to be connecting with you and to sharing this space with you. We have Francis Rebels Bay. Francis is from the States, from New Mexico. And Brother Francis is really in his own way, a reverend. He's sharing the truth and love of God as we all are, the light of God walking the sacred path. And I've had the opportunity to tune into some of his daily Facebook live sermons and just doing incredible work too in his own unique way. So we would look forward to chatting to you further, Francis, and to hearing out more about your beautiful gifts and sharing. So welcome, welcome. So we're still in this month of August and we've been riding this incredible wave of so many energetic frequencies that we have experienced between the uh, lunar eclipse and the lion's gate and the partial solar eclipse and heading into the full moon tomorrow and having another gateway opening August the 29th. And what is that doing for all of us and how are we feeling and how is it energetically affecting us? This truly is a time of new beginnings. We're having an anniversary from the eclipse season of last year, August, which really downloaded those energetic octaves of fifth dimensional living for so many of us awakened light workers and way showers upon the sacred earth as we all stepped collectively into the next level of our souls blossoming magnificence and light. And that was really another wave of ascension of the resurrection codes coming online. And from that point, many people just started to shift and make the changes that they were needing to in their own lives in this year. And the 11 number has really been a year of new beginnings and a year of new change. And this month of August is really that point of where we are starting to experience not only fifth dimensional templatings, but seventh dimensional templatings, ninth dimensional templatings, and even 12th dimensional templatings. This year has really been about coming deep into the embrace of the Divine Mother as that flame of the divine love ignited and activated through our hearts in December of 2017 at the time of the solstice energy. And this year now, apart from a time of new beginnings, is really about integrating our divine masculine spirits and finding within ourselves to a great level of healing, clearing, and releasing of karmic patterns and family lineages to do with the divine masculine and feminine and played out along the karmic timelines through men and women. So many of us are either going through in our own lives, a lot of I would say probably clearings or releasing or letting go of blame in relationships or disentangling from old relationships no longer working for us and coming from that flame of divine love in just letting go without blame. And it really can be kind of a scary one as we go through divorce, as we fight over custody of our children, as we look at past relationships that haven't worked for us, as we look at current relationships that we need to shift and change. What this is bringing up for many of us 
uh, is really just a deeper level of needing to completely surrender to the divine, completely to just trust. And that is just one aspect of what's coming up because this is really such an intense clearing mode at the same time accelerating mode as we move what we call the rainbow bridge which is the anti-corona into this new golden age into the crystalline bridge and the crystalline bridge i could almost say is really just cosmic dna codes coming online and bringing new levels of gifts new levels of knowings new levels of understanding and the expansion of our own service work and as we rise to that challenge of just embracing all that is as we surrender to love we are really shifting primarily at this time relationships and depending on where we are and what is still being released other deep levels of anger are coming up or beyond that deep levels of sadness are being released and interestingly for me although i'm generally uh, a very empathetic person i handle my emotions very well but this last week in particular i've just had moments of being completely weepy <laughs> so it's such an interesting one because of course it's still what we within ourselves are not only needing to love but just nurture and say so it's okay through those unique experiences that you chose precious hearts really what you're doing right now is just embracing and loving and accepting and knowing truly that we chose every single one of these perceived challenges at that higher light level. But now as we walk the path of love, all we're doing is coming together in unity and community. And for such a long time, this was really on the inner planes where we were connecting with Saw and Star Family. And now we're just coming together on this outer plane. And it's so, so lovely. And that's really one of the reasons that the show came into place is because there were just so many incredible, beautiful light worker friends and family that I personally wanted to connect with. And I know so many of you did too, but where do you find the time between your everyday life, between being parents, between kids, between work? So this is that opportunity where we can connect and come together as one heart and one love and sharing our gifts. And this platform, New Earth Cosmic Conversations is really just that that place where you can come and tell us all about your beautiful gifts and sharings and service in love. So I'm going to start with my first gift here today, guest here today, that's Dorota. And hear a little bit more from Dorota. What we're going to look at too is a little bit about how our unique gifts are also lifting um, consciousness or shifting consciousness of what we're sharing, whether this is from the caring perspective through our own unique healing gifts or whether this is sonic frequency, whether this is touch frequency, whether this is through our voice, what are we sharing? What are we doing? How are we coming together deeper as one heart and one love? So welcome to Rota. Thank you so much. Yeah. Have wonderful. Just wanted to say, say thank you. This is a beautiful platform. And of course, um, yes, I, I, I have been in this road of, of discovering what is in me and what, what the universe is about for many, many years. And um, the sound and the music was, was the key, was something that I have been gifted. So since I was a little girl, I always wanted to sing, you know, singing the sounds that, that I know people appreciate it. And I wanted to find out because I knew that people are reacting to my singing when I, I used to be a musician, I used to be a singer. Um, and so I, I worked on stage and been singing um, jazz, jazz music and um, Finnish other music schools in Poland. But I was born into, into the situation of, of um, um, a communist country which was, as you can imagine, I had this experience of, of being restricted. And it was very <laughs> strongly shown to me how I had to liberate myself, liberate my thoughts, liberate my everything. So um, the music was there and my voice was always there and, and enjoyment of the music was there. But outside, the world was very gray and... and um, and bit by bit, I had to understand what is happening. So I ended up living in Australia for, for quite a few years. So I am kind of traveler and I don't really 
know where the universe wants me to be at one time, but I'm trusting now that everything is absolutely the way it should be. And when I started to discover that I am doing more with my voice than just singing, I wanted to understand how I can be of service and just give this, this energy, this something that I didn't understand completely at this time because it was many years ago. But the sound was connecting to me in my visions with, with the color. So I, I, many years ago, I had this awakening that the colors were, were, were vibrating around me and, and I knew that it, I have to go on and do this. And it was the, the knowledge that I had with it, but I didn't know what I know. But after many years, I started to create a relaxation technique, relaxation uh, studios, I've been calling this. So I've created music with the visualizations of the color and the nature. And I've been doing this in Poland for, for a few years. And, um, and of course, I had my um, deep, deep um, work with, with what was happening to me. <laughs> As a, as a human being, I lost everything. I, I had to give away all my houses, and and um, I've been experiencing something. What what you were saying about the um, divine mother? I believe that this energy is is coming through me, and I had to clear absolutely everything that was um, judgment, that was pain. There was a lot of pain, a lot of sadness, a lot of here of course to, to do with my family with my divorce with my son you know it, it it is taking me to this beautiful place of 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 vibration that that i work with vibration that comes like a like a beautiful sphere of just just loving people just just loving my listeners just, just holding the big bubble of of love and this vibration when when i use my voice is penetrating many levels of 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 the person that i work with and just doing this ding 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 you know just 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 loving just enlightening just changing something it is beyond mind many times but we also work with the mind because we have to teach the mind how to relax basically how to allow this beautiful vibration to to love the places within the body very much so to let go to let go to let go to to clear to relax to allow and my job, I think the most important thing, if I could say, is to, to remind my listeners that, that we are so loved. That I know from my journey that it was a lot of not deserving. That I had to dig in deeper and deeper and deeper what this really means that Truly, we are within the vibration of love. And you are talking about this so beautifully. And I thank you for that because it helped me many times before just to remind myself, what do I really believe in? How, how do I really believe that if I am so loved, like why am I worried about this? Why, why don't they trust that this pain will go away if I relax more and if I allow more? So... This is my job. I, I do work online most of the time. I do personal work online. I do classes. Um, I do activations that people can just join. And, and I sing and I, I, I do the activation with my voice. And um, yes, I'm just, just allowing myself as well. To, to be completely within this, this amazing vibration that, that I know. 
Mm, how absolutely amazing and yes it is that aren't we we the vibrating portals of divine love and we're sharing that in every way through our energy and in your case too through your beautiful voice while continuing the work on ourselves because that seems to be really as we know like that onion and it's just going deep and deep and deep and every level just deeper levels of purging and clearing and alignment so it's alignment and misalignment and alignment and misalignment until you know that that, that consciousness and alignment just deepens for the most part, and of course, a large part too is related to our choices that take us there. But it's such a beautiful story that, you know, again, it's really just to honor that we've all had our own perceived challenges. And if I can say more than anyone else, every single light worker here, for the most part, um, has been through really, really deep stuff, you know, really incredible, incredibly deep or challenging. Um, things that have happened because of our strength, because of our ability to choose this so that we could truly know what it was like, what it's like to be human, you know, to, to have experienced that pain and that sadness and that devastation and that loss. And, and that, 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 that there's so many different levels that are coming through with that to be able to bring together all our multidimensional aspects and hold that in love. And that's really all we're doing right now. Especially when, when, when I work with, with people, I know that was given to me because how can you understand how you, how you can be of service, how you can help others when you didn't experience? This is not the logic thing. Mm -hmm. It is mm -hmm. this very, Hot. very alive thing that I know how you feel. I really know how mm -hmm. you feel. I, can, mm -hmm. I can hold you within love. I can hold you now. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can give you this vibration because I believe I can feel and I know that you are this beautiful being and mm. all you're doing is just amazing things that you can release whatever it is that you have to work through because, because, because your beautiful soul wanted you to do that in this life. So many levels, um, like you are saying now about, about new moon and about all the changes, they're quite amazing this year for me as well. Mm. And um, and since yesterday, I am I'm feeling like I'm I'm bursting from within, like 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 my my body wants to just shine so much, and enough of this of this yes. stopping me from from you know there's many level I can feel it like I can feel vibration so I can feel myself and I can feel others where is this. Yes, and that's right in that unified level that I am avatar consciousness I absolutely love it so you're talking about that it's really the soul light bursting from within in crystalline consciousness and part of that work is really just because of the crystalline bridge coming online now the, the new beginnings through the crystalline city through the higher dimensional gateways vortices it's just such an incredible moment in time and we bring it down physically into the body, you know, but what you're saying is in, it's so many old programs just been released simultaneously in lack of, and, you know, so interesting in observing that, you know, a couple of weeks, I, you know, it's kind of like running through a cycle there. And I caught myself in a moment of lack of in a false belief or judgment or whatever it was. And it was like, wow, I didn't actually realize that that still existed. And, you know, kind of like just unwinding that and letting go and deep and deep into levels. And really what this is, is deeper levels of integrity. Which is so interesting because deeper levels of integrity is so much related to every level of our beingness, including manifestation and abundance. And, you know, it's like sort of all the time just being as honest as what we can possibly be in any given moment. And, you know, that's even little things like, but, you know, not, I don't know, you know, whatever's happening to all the time just come from that, 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 that place of equilibrium and balance through love and through honesty and through courage and you know we're clearing aren't we we're clearing the energetic nets we we're clearing through into the unity grid when this vibration comes through it's like it comes through mm -hmm. it's just partly because there is this mm -hmm. stuckness i am finding out that there's mm -hmm. so much inside the body that yeah. is like changing and changing and changing so when, when you touch a little bit of something, then it needs to go deeper and it needs to go deeper. Mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. it's so amazing. And mm -hmm. it's showing up again and again. Sometimes mm -hmm. 
need to be completely clear because we are going right. to this space of, of being completely free. Yes. Yes. yes, and I love that. And I do feel that frustration too. Sometimes we just, my soul is expanding and yet it's got to go through the physical body. And it's got to still go through areas of discomfort within my own physical body through whatever my, you know, physical issues may have been or still are. And of course, all those other emotional, mental layers that are just being cleared. And it's like, <laughs> you know, it just feels like sometimes like I just, I sit and I need to move my body, you know, and I shake it. Yes. I'm saying to my clients many, mm -hmm. many times because I, I have experienced it myself. That once you anchor yourself up there, that you know for sure that you are this this amazing uh, being of light, and that the universe loves you, then from that place you can do all the clearing and all this all the things that, that you need to do. But yeah. you yourself over and over and over again, which is shifting, which is which is. Uh, connecting again and again because it goes down a little bit and then yes. you remember yes. that you, this is true it is true this is this is love this is just love mm -hmm. yeah it's beautiful you know it's really it's expansion and integration and then for those that are still working it could be expansion and contraction but mostly it's expansion and integration and depending on where we are in those biorhythmic cycles and you know affected on a planetary level and a galactic level by what's happening often we just need to take time out so it's really listening to the biorhythmic balance of our own unique bodies and energy because there's going to be those times when we really need to just step back and 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 take that time for ourselves and then that time where we might sleep a lot or have different you know kind of depending on the light body activations different levels of diet or different levels of understanding that comes through because that understanding is always just increasing isn't it in that cosmic conscious awareness and really what we're experiencing at this time is just such a deep ignition of the threefold flame of empowerment, love, and wisdom. So it's a key of empowerment that's coming on now because we've been holding that flame of divine love and we've been experiencing, you know, greater levels of our own wisdom and knowing and understanding. And in fact, part of the work that I've been doing this month is through the angelic templates and the angelic templates that have been igniting and activating in this month of um, August. One of them is uh, grace, the template of grace and appreciation. And, um, you know, this is really the, the, the template to allow us to completely flow is to be appreciative of all that we have rather than, you know, kind of angry at what we don't have or frustrated at the lack of. And really, there's never any lack of. It's just a perception of lack of. And that's what's really so interesting for me. It's just been really just deepening into the knowing of actually how we can overcome that perception of lack of is actually just giving more and more as unconditionally as what we can you know kind of the moment we face another problem let's say we you know we need to bring in a little bit of money more money as an example that's just one lack of you know it could be so many different lack ofs in our lives whether it's a lack of love or a lack of being seen or a lack of um the job that we desire or a lack of money whatever those lacks are of lack of Oh, that are coming up to just being integrated, to be seen, to be heard. It's really not only coming into appreciation of this moment, but also just giving more and more of ourselves. If we can continually just give in service without the expectation of what we're getting back, it's like we take ourselves to another level where we move beyond a perceived sense of lack of. It's such an interesting one. Although, of course, the little programs still come up and they still run a little bit because we've got the little negative ego there. And at some point, it's actually just observing that, and you know, just so rather than... That's right. That's right. That's right. Observe what is the thought of your mom, of your grandmother, of your ancestors uh, within you, yes? And... and if you if you need to feel a lack of something because because what happened and then you had evidence as a child or, or whatever and this is not your truth this is what, what i'm working with is, is it your truth it is not your truth so if it's not your truth it needs to come out and you have to allow that you have to see you have to embrace that this is not your truth and so the energy then can come in and this is what I what the sound is useful when I go in mm -hmm. 
is taking out all this melting making an alchemy straight away but the choice comes from the person there's always the choice and i'm always saying mm -hmm. that there is the choice of the vibration the vibration is the choice so when you create something that you are okay now that you don't have a lack of anything or then then you are creating the higher vibration and you are allowing the universe to to harmonize the other things for you mm -hmm. beautiful voice of an angel really beautiful i love that you know thank you thank you dorota that's really so beautiful you know the other template that's activating for us at this time uh, is also one of compassion so compassion is really the highest form of love and that compassion comes when we see the pain of others and when we can see the pain of others we can really just forgive and let go of blame because we all choose these journeys at this higher light level and really then that's a choice isn't it that is a choice of vibration that we choose to release and love and accept everything that we are and all those emotions and just bring it within ourselves to be loved rather than still blaming others for our perceived lot in life beautiful divine mother that that is just taking everything that everything that you are and just 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 loving if you mm -hmm. allow just if you allow just mm -hmm. allow everything that's mm -hmm. that happens to everybody absolutely everybody mm -hmm. How beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for that beautiful sharing. I look forward to hearing a little bit more of that sound as we move into the second part of our show and do a little bit of a transmission together. I think that would be quite beautiful. So the other thing that's happening for us now is we deepen into these galactic portals and gateways in the experience of the diamond light body. Right now we're at this place where we're experiencing this reunion of hearts or this alchemical marriage between our divine masculine and divine feminine spirits. And in that birthing, that birthing of creation, that comes through through the inner child as our gateway to Mother, Father, God. So the crystalline matrix that's coming on now is taking us again deeper into loving that innocent magical child and new creative ideas that are coming online creative gifts and at the same time the energetic frequency of the body is needing to ground so i am finding a place where a little bit of a tummy is coming which is unusual and lots of salty foods and a little bit of potato chips and things like that that is really part of that energy if you are experiencing it too your unique uh, your unique foods that you are being attracted to at this moment just be aware of it because some of them are actually um, mineralizing the body and giving the body what it needs right now as we deepen into that and for women a lot of you may be finding stuff going on apart from um, what's going on through the family lineage and clearing and past life and actually genetically going back that seems to be coming through as well there's also a lot of stuff related to wombs so this is a time for every single woman to just honor the womb to honor this life-bearing divine aspect within themselves as a portal, as a stargate to the cosmic heart of Mother, Father, God through the birthing of the magical innocent child. And really just an exciting moment in time for all of that to be experienced as we deepen into the communication of our own bodies and what is expressing and what it is saying to us, both collectively and individually. Just an incredible moment in time. And so interesting that I'm talking about that because our next guest, Adi Shab, who has been a really wonderful friend that I've known for so many years, has actually um, done amazing and awesome work. And part of this work I know too was, you know, kind of getting together with the, the sisterhood and doing a bit of that work around the, the womb and the goddess energy and, you know, so many beautiful things through the workshops 
So welcome, AD, and I don't know if you know you can start where you want, and we can jump back into this conversation at any point. Thank you so much, Anita. And yes, it's interesting that you're talking about the womb because um, I actually spoke to a rabbi the other day, and I said to him, "Isn't it interesting? Because when the sperm and the egg meet, it's like the the Big Bang. It's creation." And we are in this field of the mother's energy with everything that she has believed, every reactive situation around her, and everything around her DNA is held within that framework. And it's quite interesting where I, I learned that in the womb, it's quite the, it's a download happens over that nine month period of virtually all information. And to go through the birth canal, which I think a lot of us are in that transition period where it's, am I going to make it? Yeah, the fear resonance is very, very high. And this is where, again, we've got to counteract it with lifting our energetic frequency. And it's almost trusting as you're going through these birth pangs into the world and being separated, feeling like you are separating from a very deep core part of yourself into a new beginning. And it's prior to that birth that we go into, am I going to, am I going to survive or am I going to fly? And through this, it's, it's really challenging us. And I'm almost finding almost at this time, it feels like we're in a washing machine being bashed from all sides. And it's about trying to hold our center in the presence of now, which is so important. But where do we find, how do we hold ourselves in the presence of now? And that is by actually watching as our ego is being challenged and our pain bodies are starting to emerge, whether it's fear, sadness, or anger. But to actually come inward to our inner being because Inside of us, we are just cellular energy that holds all memory through all lifetimes, through our entire soul incarnations. And by going inward, we learn how to access our inner position and we, it will guide you to that exact point along your timeline, whether it's in this lifetime or previous lifetimes, to come into mend. So the pain is not there to make you sore, it's there to make you aware. And as there was a wonderful um, Osher Zen, actually from his wonderful cards, there's a wonderful thing about pain. And that's what it is. It's about coming into awareness because it's once you come into awareness and you, you move inward to that body and learn how to work with this body with certain questions, your actual intuition and your inner physician will be able to lead you to the point where that was along your timeline. You know, and Rita, it's so interesting because when I ask a child, if you ever ask a child how they're feeling, they will shrug their shoulders because they do not know what feeling means. Whereas when I work with children, which I do, and this is a very big market that I need to go into as you do. And through this, I have recognized that if you come down to their level and you start speaking to them in their symbology, in their language, in the terms of nature. So when I'm addressing a child, I go into, oh, you know, you know the rain clouds, how heavy and dark they get. I sometimes feel rain clouds in my heart, do you? And they then are able to identify with, with what you are talking about. So as I look at conventional therapy in the way of psychotherapy, in all the work that we do, sometimes it's relating to maybe a two-year-old or five-year-old and it's going over their child's head. They do not understand you. So even in the challenging of our belief systems, we can chant the mantras, we can go into the affirmations over and over again. We're putting plasters over the wound because where did that original lack of of self comes through or the belief system. And it's normally connected very much with the inner child. And as we delve with inside of ourselves, we can find that inner child and use their light language of being able to really be able to go into their symbolic world to give them the understanding of where did that core belief come in from separation of self of not good enough. And it feels like we take this amazing journey where we come into the world and through 
looking at our teachers who are meant to be our parents, our religious figures, and our school teachers, we we look to them to be the teacher. And when they fall down, we take it personally and go into, this must be about me. This is, I must be bad. I must be wrong. And it's all an assumption. So we take our entire lives to come back to a point of good enough. And when we talk about coming back into our full selves, as far as I uh, have seen and practicing over 33 years, I've noticed that with any kind of shock, and this is even looking at shock from a three-year-old, a parental figure shouting at them, which looks like a mon monster, which will create disassociation. A lot of therapies don't take into account also the aspect of going to that part that has been disassociated to come and bring that part back into one's own being so that we can come into I am all one. And through literally chipping through the layers of our, our outer body, we come back to our core innocence, which is our core truth. And to me, as we're being rocked through this whole, it's almost like a crisis management that we are coming in with emotions one after the other. It's about really being able to come into absolute observation of the self, of I'm feeling this emotion, Therefore, it makes me feel sad to almost at that point be able to go inward, to go in and say, where am I feeling this? And let me go into identification so I can go through my timeline and repair that. So whether it's a physical or an emotional pain, I can be able to bring myself back to center within two minutes and then be able to walk out in the ability to respond appropriate, appropriately. So I've been teaching this work for 33 years and what I'm, what I'm really delighted to be able to see a lot of my the wonderful people that I work with, I'm getting responses like, you know, Adi, it's interesting because I've developed so much with inside myself and I'm seeing I'm in a healthier version of myself. And yet I still expect the downfall of my old self, but I don't fall down. Or... Gee, you know, I'm not separated from myself, but I'm coming into observation of myself and I'm watching this whole play almost play out and I can swoop in, be able to correct myself and then come back into observation. And to me, our bodies hold every memory through every lifetime and the amount of work that we do on ourselves in this lifetime is like a grain of sand on a beach because it's connecting to our entire entire history so when we talk about the male and female inside of us to me it's very much about going inwardly and creating the inner balance between the divine female and the divine male so when i am working with deep process what i tend to do is not go towards unlocking that pain and going into the trauma it's about if i could walk back into my past and edit the form of my past and I came in as the best mentor, the one who cares, the protector, I can then self-soothe, which immediately dulls that feeling or takes it away so, or moves it into a smaller state so I can trace it again. So my most important goal as a therapist is to empower others to become their own therapists, to be able to self-moderate within their own world. But as I've been going through this journey, I recognize that because my work is very unique, um, that I was actually in Johannesburg and thinking, gee, my voice is small. I've been working one-on-one -on -one for years and years and years, have avoided technology like it's the plague because I like to have human contact and one-on-one. -on -one. And what I realized is I need to go up bigger. I need to actually start expressing myself. And I'm getting to being a crone, as you can see, by all the wrinkles. And I'm thinking to myself, you know what? It's time that I actually started teaching. 33 years of my wonderful knowledge so that I can encourage others who are intuitives to be able to tap into the body because that's what I do. I'm a body-mind intuitive. And when I lay my hands on the person's body, I see what sits behind the mask of, hello, how are you? Fine, thank you, and you. And my, my messages come in symbolism, whether it's animal totems, spirit totems, which are my messengers from the divine, whether it's cards, whether it's songs from old songs, but my, my guides are very humorous and it's always about uplifting. 
If we're carrying so much shadow, we have to deal with our shadow to uplift that so that we can ignite the spark of consciousness within. It's just remember who you are. You're a being of absolute light and wonder. And to start bringing in the magician and that right-hand brain frequency of the feminine to come into the expansion of your imagination. It's a whole world of imagination. And we don't realize how powerful we are because the mind cannot distinguish between imagination and reality. So we are able to reprogram ourselves and reset our mind frequency into a new frequency which is much higher in its intensity. But as I've been going through, I've also looked at children because children, um, I'm seeing as I'm doing more and more children how disassociated they are, how lonely and how technology as much as it's been the greatest gift in the whole world that these children are moving further and further away from their heart chakras and they it's creating such intense loneliness despair isolation um kids are suicidal they cannot confront each other they do not know how to these beautiful indigo children are feeling so alienated and isolated. And as I've been working with empaths and especially children, I realize that they're becoming more and more, they're going more into the inner world. So through this, I, I, I would like to, and this is where I would like to go into schools and start educating children and teaching them their magician and teaching them how powerful their right-hand brain and their source of imagination in their way of their creation of the reality is. And to me, our children are our future. And as Michael Jackson, that beautiful song of, I believe our children are our future, teach them well and let them lead the way because this is our future generation. But through this, we also have to correct our own inner child. And this is very much in and outer as we are watching the hurdles and the challenges of, our distraction away from our heart, we've got to bring attention back to who am I? And basically we are love. We are love frequency and heal it with love and care and absolutely the divine male coming in as a protector. And it's quite amazing. You will be able to hold yourself very anchored as we're going through these shifts in humanity that can keep you very stabilized and centered as this whirlwind is actually happening. So, yes. So I will mm -hmm. definitely, um, I am in, des in the design of um, doing these wonderful intuition courses and trainings for children, as well as my vast 33 years of experience where I would like to each have each person have their own individual, you know, touch because nobody can, you, your intuition is your intuition. But all of us have the capacity to do this. And this is what I feel the more light workers we have, educating people about body-mind connection, tapping into the intuition. And what's important is this beautiful heart, the, our heart of love, which is forever in compassion. So, yes. Mm. I'm lovely. Go so much, Steph, you know, to move into. And I wanted to certainly inject at a couple of places, but it was really lovely to hear you share on so many different levels, AD. Thank and you. And of course, our children are so very important. And right now, as we know, you know, so many of the millennials and even the younger children, the, the crystal children, the golden children, all these names that we're giving them, it doesn't really matter, autistic, uh, ADHD. Uh, or to, you know, whatever it may be, Ashburgers, it really is that these children are just having their own unique frequency experience. And more than anything, it's really just to honor that because that is really what we're learning from them, whether some of them are communicating telepathically, some of them are communicating from a sensory perspective, some of them are communicating just from a dimensional perspective. And rather than try and slot them into the perception of how things should be, from a, a left brain perspective, it's really just honoring their uniqueness and giving them the gifts that, you, that, that they are needing to, to move forward. And actually for the millennials, particularly to ignite the Ascension Codes because they're coming on, online right now. And there's two things to that. One is, of course, so many of them have been in low frequency environments between all the junk food, as you're saying, the, the, the PlayStation games, the computers, the phones, the um, chemtrails, the, the, the vaccinations, the schools, 
everything has been designed to shut them down from a 3D perspective. And yet somehow they're still finding their way. You know, I watched a video the other day that popped up on Facebook of just so many of these young millennials in their 20s that aren't working a nine to five job. They're sleeping in their caravans and every day they are just hiking and camping and moving from state to state and, and place to place and just catching part-time work when they can because they are realizing that there is more to life than actually, you know, kind of sitting down and thinking of security at that particular age in their life. And really it's just because essentially there's a spiritual essence of beingness that they're trying to experience even if they can't find the exact words for it. And then the younger ones, what I feel and perceive is that for so many of us as parents, we've had to go through so much of our own stuff that, you know, we've been so deep in our own process that it's actually been a little bit difficult to say, okay, you know, you know, here I am, here's the time for you, here you are, sweetheart, you know, let me spend this time with you and let's work with what you need from your spiritual tools because one level is a lot of people just don't have those spiritual tools. And the other level is for many parents, uh, the reality is, that their lives are in just such busyness and they're in so much stress themselves and, and working all day and then coming home and often in, 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 in you know, those relationships, unconscious levels of communication and there's just so much going on that those kids are just getting caught in the energetic matrix of bad energy frequencies or vibrations and even those with the greatest levels of intent um, you know, are having misalignment. So really right now what we're doing is that we're coming deep and deep ourselves into alignment, which is just by the grace of God, because it's been such a journey to bring us all collectively to this point. Mm -hmm. Truly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yes. It was, yes, it, just a couple of days ago, I had this, this young child coming to me, and this is just an indication. She was an incredible empath, but she was having a lot of crisis at home and in major depression and anxiety. She was, it was recommended that she goes on to antidepressants and goes and sees a psychiatrist and um, she was getting more and more withdrawn. Anyway, I came, she came into the session and I said to her, you know, my darling, years ago, a little girl came up to me and she said to me, Aidy, do you know that, do you want to see how powerful I am? And I said, yes, I'd love to see that. And she showed me a very simple exercise, which blew me away because here was this excited child knowing, knowing that she could create whatever she wanted. And she put her two hands together like this. And with, with both of our, we, as we know, the one side of the body is shorter than the other. And she said, watch, watch how I use the power of my mind to enlarge my hand. And she asked her hand to grow five times. And with that, and I'll do it, grow, 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 from the heart. And as I do that, my hand grows. So every time she did that, her hand grew further. And she recognized just by one thought, she had the power to influence her body on a deep level. So you can understand where a lot of us, and again, every single one of us has a critic on our shoulder which is we try to, <clears throat> to elevate our frequency and we're doing wonderful meditations. And yet most of us have got this very negative voice that is normally the parental voice. By connecting and getting off that and putting in affirmation and nourishment into our body, what we are doing with the voices, it's as good as food. We have to really be aware of that critic and rather replace it with the most unbelievable nurturer, the one who cares, the, the person who's moved further along who can actually really be able to give the comfort and the, the needs that are so needed by our inner being yeah so you know just to show how powerful we are and we are magicians we are we and this is our magician archetype that is going to lead us amazingly into our future as being many creators yeah and this really is a time that you're talking about. This is um, a co-creation, isn't it? It's more than anything else because I'm finding in that level of communication and, and connecting to the body, actually talking to um, the hormones and talking to the, the cells, not only, of course, the energetic clearing that we were talking about there earlier, then, you know, even though we can come into so many levels of alignment and beingness, we still need to clear the energetic cells of the cellular memories of trauma that we've had in different timelines. But essentially what is happening now is that we can actually talk 
to the to, to the different glands, to the organs, to the body parts, to the, the 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 different enzymes in the body. And it was so amazing. There was this lady that I listened to at some stage and you know did a little bit of her work called Lynn Wardle. And she's a body channel and she goes right into the body and there she is. She's talking to every part of the body and you are just healing and experiencing the body. And it's just taught me that ability to self-heal and self-regulate through okay. just communicating with the body on so many different levels. It's absolutely amazing. And mm. I too have brought out a beautiful program and, you know, AD, I'm hoping, you know, from the new year will be part of it. It's angel tools for parents and children. And so very close to my heart too having two boys myself that are now eight, well, nine and 11. So it's such a very, very powerful time to be expressing uh, ourselves through love, but also in waking up our children and waking up the children uh, on the sacred earth, because that is really what many of us have been called to do at this time. So mm -hmm. from the, certainly from the new year, I'm going to be running a series of tele-webinars and moving deeper into that. And um, I know that Aileen, I spoke briefly about that. So I'm hoping yes. that she will join me in that too. And just yeah. really looking forward to that. This is a time where we're just holding our light in absolutely every way and expanding in so many unique ways. And, you know, really, I feel that, they, that we just weren't ready before this time for so many uh, conscious parents that we were just really doing so much of our own work. And now in that place of stillness and place of love, we can really extend out on so many different levels to the children. So looking forward to that too. So thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Aidy. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Wonderful. Good. So we're getting to you, Francis, Brother Francis. So there we go. How you have been, I know that it's taken a little bit of time, so thank you for your patience. Uh, you know, just spent a bit of time with everyone else. So how are you doing, Francis? I'm, I'm doing very well. This is uh, definitely an exciting time. Um, my Circle Grace One is spiritual and metaphysical ministry that I started in 1999. The reason for the number one being at the end because my late mother, who I referred to as Mother Grace, and Grace was her first name, she was a spiritualist, but I didn't know that until I got into college. <laughs> And then she became my spiritual teacher. So my Circle of Grace One is an honor to her. And it's just on time. I, I channeled the Angel of Grace who told me that we're in the age of remembrance. I wrote a book called Dancing in the Light of Divine Grace many years ago and republished it last year. And everything you're talking about is kind of hinted at in the book. <laughs> so I talk about compassion and grace being in our lives. Um, and unconditional love. And uh, recently, a lot of my Facebook lives are about, um, it's not like a sermon, it's more like a sharing. And so I'm sharing and showing transparency because many people don't always see, and I know it happens here in, in a lot in the United States, many people don't see the transparency of the healer, the spiritual teacher, they think that we have it all together. We, we always had it all together and we didn't, <laughs> you know, it's uh, like perfection doesn't happen overnight and yet perfection is a process. So it's never ending. You're always moving to another level or you meet a level and you stay there for a while and you move up and up and up. So my, uh, I'm in my 44th year of sharing <laughs> and doing this work and it's been a long time and, um, being out here so long and in the last 20 years, find out, hooray, there are other people around the planet doing this, you know, because in the beginning you feel like you're the only one and why you're the only one. You can't be the only one. It must be other people. So uh, I've had this uh, one opportunity to do this. Um, a part of what I do is, you know, I do numerology readings with people, tarot, and I teach people how to do it, you know, how to work with pendulums. I just started back to doing seminars now, one day seminars. I did my first one on May the 12th of this year. The next one comes up October the 20th. And I see everybody as a master. So the, the title of the series is Mentoring Masters, Entering Mastery, which is just another level of themselves. And I mentor a lot of people around the world. So uh, I just feel that 
this is that time. We're all coming together. We're finding each other. Uh, we have been around each other for eons. Uh, we have been, whether in this matrix or in the highest celestial realms, we are always found assisting, doing our work, and, and learning at the same time, and definitely remembering. Because everything we're doing, I feel that that's coming to us is a remembrance. Whether it's a book, a movie, a VD, someone giving you an embrace, it triggers you from the inside and you begin to remember that you have all of this. And yet, like you said earlier, you think you have, you're lacking this, you're lacking that, but you're not really. It's just how you perceive it. If you look at it from another aspect of yourself, it's just an experience. <laughs> and you have to learn how to engage it and sometimes stay neutral to it. And being neutral allows you to, to get into the flow. But you, you can't rush anything. You know, when the mother is carrying the child, she's not rushing that, that soul that's in that body to come out like that. It's a whole process that she's experiencing. And so we're all doing that. We're all giving birth to that sacred child that is the teacher inside of ourselves. And we are seeing so many children out here. Um, I know the youngest person I mentor, he's 18. He's going to be a mechanical engineer and he has his own set of bees. And he's, <laughs> he's, he's out there every day, you know, when he can with the bees and the plants. And he's been doing that since he's like eight or nine years of age. And, now we're all over here in New Mexico and I'm just watching him blossom. So we're all blossoming. We're all coming together. We're all doing what we need to do. And we do need to take care of ourselves. That's very important. So if we don't take care of ourselves, we won't have the energy for the newer people that are coming onto our path that are looking for people like us. And what good of, of us doing the work if we're not working on ourselves, even if it means to take a day off and rest, <laughs> take a day off and rest, not try to do everything, not to try to have. So I remember in the first 10 years of my path, it was always about, I got to have a customer. I need to have 10 people a day or 10 people a week, or 30 people a month. And then when I hit my forties, they're like, I don't, I don't need to do all of that. I just need to be present. I need to have fun. <laughs> I need, quiet time to myself. I need to do my artwork or my Tai Chi or whatever, because the people will always be coming. <laughs> but if I'm not rested well, it won't matter. Mm -hmm. I won't be able to give properly. And mm -hmm. so I want you to put that out there, you know, because it's very important. Now, like you say, you different foods come to you, different exercises come to you. And as I told a, pe a few people, on Facebook Live, I, could, I said, if you're not seeing me on here teaching, I just might be asleep. <laughs> I enjoy sleeping and I enjoy it fully. So, you know, it's all about giving. It's all about being in integrity. It is having understanding. None of us are above or beneath anybody. We're all the same. Kind We're just uh, different facets of diamond. That's what we are, doing our work. Mm -hmm. And I'm so happy to be, <laughs> happy. To be with everybody what you're here at this time. Yes, and we haven't really, I really so just much. kind of feel that energy of us coming together, you know, and really we are, you know, we're all brothers and sisters of the light and it's simply the levels of cosmic conscious awareness that differs from individual to individual. And of course, so, you know, even when you see mm -hmm. it's like I remember the two things that came to mind, one was the whole uh, life coaching power of the mind that was really so much you know, a couple of decades ago and even in the last decade you know it was really that we're coming, out, like, we were coming from this place of um you know really everything is a power of the mind and set your goals and set your intention and and you know move forward from that and certainly to some degree it absolutely does work but when you're coming from the head even if you think you know kind of the inner size work it's not really coming from the heart. It's really combining the two. And that's really, again, that balance of the divine masculine and feminine. But in the templates for the fifth dimensional frequency work, what we are experiencing more, and more is the essence of timelessness. I don't know what happened to Francis there. Uh, there he is. Okay. So, yeah, what Adam, he's going in and out. I'm going to have to carry you with me. <laughs> 
and to yes. see if I can get my extension. Okay, that's really so I'm fine. Here. So that's fine. So what I'm talking about is in this essence of timelessness is where we actually just deepen into having the time for everything that we need to do without perceived stress. And, you know, as, as, a, as a single parent, I can certainly tell you that, that that was really quite a jungle to get to and also to move the linear mind out of the focus of this is what I need to do in three months or this is what I need to do in six months or and just, this is, you know, the plan that I need to have for, for next year or the following year or five-year plan. You know? So it's really it's essentially being in this now moment is because this is the eternal now moment which all flows in divine inspiration comes to us as we need it. And for some of us, this may be experienced in downloads, it's maybe you know, one of these high frequency um, pitches going through the ears or changing frequency pitches, or you just got to be in the next day and just boom, that information is there. And I know often when I'm co-creating for months at a time, I'm just on this passion energy of just, you know, all these ideas and understandings are just coming and downloading and, and I'm really just getting, you know, get so excited about it and to put it out there. And part of our coming together is also, you know, how we can market ourselves because I feel so many of us, part of this platform is really just um, showcasing and highlighting some of the incredible gifts and talents of our life because so many people like uh, possibly have so many beautiful gifts, but they don't have the marketing skills to be able to really put themselves out into the next level of how to market and, and how to put themselves out there. So one of the things that came to mind, I know that you're doing the Facebook Live and, you know, that's really a wonderful way to connect, to be, you know, to be around, to, to be interacting with people on a regular basis. Other ways that we can do that is really just, you know, kind of taking some photos, taking some quotes or every video that you do have that transcript and then take some very good quotes from that and every day place that on whether it's Facebook or Instagram or uh, Twitter, whatever these, you know, kind of some of those social networks are. I'm personally not even yet on Twitter or Instagram and I'm talking to people about marketing, but, you know, really it's what works for you and what your time is. I find as a single parent, I really don't have the time for everything. So I focus on the things and look to expand that. So this is an important thing to ensuring our work is how are we getting up, how are we reaching others, how are we reaching others as um, brothers and sisters of the line, and how are we reaching out to those of our students too that are needing the gifts that we can offer as we come together in community and unity. So many different areas that we're looking at on this new Earth conversations. But wonderful, Francis. And may I ask, how long have you been doing your um, your Facebook Live? Well, I've, I've just started doing the Facebook Live um, a little bit last year, but I also broadcast through another friend's um, blog talk radio spot every Thursday of my show there is Decree and It Shall Be. So I'm there, and he has a much bigger audience, even though he's dealing with debts and consolidations, but he has me in as the metaphysician of his program. So I'm able, I'm accessible to some maybe 300 people listening to the show every Thursday morning, you know, and that also helps. And of course, I have my Skype, but now that uh, my ancestors and Akhenaten are saying that, ah, you got to like <laughs> pull that wig out, really expand now and step all the way out into it. So yeah, I might hit Facebook once or twice a day. You know, okay. sometimes I try to come on at a, sometimes I have what I call a random broadcast. So spirit may move me to actually be up like two or three o'clock in the morning and put something out as well. But I try to be consistent now, you know, with what I'm doing at least five days out of the week with a Facebook live. And then I do, because uh, I have every Thursday uh, morning out here for about two hours on uh, Block Talk Radio where I'm, I'm marketing myself that way and then staying open to do these uh, seminars every couple of months out mm -hmm. here. And then I do I have a lot of one-on-one -on -one teachings and, and things of that nature. So it, it's, it really is stepping into it. 
this is what we've all been waiting for. <laughs> yes, this in. is the time. Yeah. Mm, nice, very nice. I actually used to do, uh, also host a radio show some years ago. Uh, so, yeah, a very nice way to just be connecting and networking and coming together. I think really, you know, essentially the internet and through offering whether it's, you know, Zoom meetings or Skype, uh, and of course, you know, the type of thing that we're doing, coming together uh, in the video conferencing, also such a beautiful way to be connecting with one another. So there's a lot of very, very good things that we can do to, to certainly get ourselves out there as much as we can. And the other side for me, apart yeah. from uh, you know, all of that, is to just also give as freely as what I can. Because I find, you know, the, the more I give, the more the universe just pours its support and abundance blessings down to me <laughs> so yeah it's quite lovely you've got a little bit of noise coming from your side francis uh i'm not sure why i'm so hyped up <laughs> I, i'm quite sure once this goes off this noise i'll be on with someone else and i won't hear anything <laughs> i don't know okay. why it's doing that <laughs> oh, that's okay. it's happening with your phone, yes, it sounds like it's coming from your phone. It's a little bit of a crackly, a bit of a crackly sound there. All right, so is there anything else on this day you'd like to share with us? Well, I would like to um, just read one little small passage from my book. Um, it's called Dancing in the Light of Divine Grace. They can get it on Amazon.com for 25 as a paper book, back book, or they can get it as an ebook, and I just want to read one small passage here. All that matters is the alma mater of divine source in and of you, the heart-centered reality that has become more than a dream, but now the vision of now in you thoroughly restored as you. The infinite wonder as you are from the divine, speak where the home is vast and the mode of travel is light True giving and seeding is unconditional love, compassion, and remembrance. So, my grace is your grace, mm -hmm. and it's there for everyone. And I just, I'm looking forward to feel the, and see the planet really shift. And I, I think we're in the sea of shifting. We're already doing it. To me, it's, we're already fifth dimensional consciousness. Yeah. We just... Uh, we don't have any way of referencing it <laughs> with anything from your past because your past is gone and it's always now. And it's all about just Isn't it? Ever present. Yes. Ever present eternal now moment. Surrender to love. Love is all there. So on that note, I think we're going to just move deeper into that heart energy and feel what's coming through because so much of this is really just feeling and sensing and being that flame of divine love. So we're just going to take a, a moment to simply just breathe in love and breathe out love. And as the was, and the was, and the was, and and as the was, and the was, and as the was, and the was, and as the was, and the and as the was, and 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 the was,
I call upon the overlying of Mother Father God and all the limited beings of life from on high I personally acknowledge. As I emerge now with my beloved I am presence, the highest aspect of my soul light within the cosmic heart of God. And into this safe and sacred space I now invoke and call upon all the illumined beings of light from on high I personally acknowledge. Christ at extraterrestrials, the Sisterhood of the Rose, Archangelic Legions, Mighty Elohim, feeling and sensing my infinite connection through all realms of light into the Beloved, I am presence of the higher light of all awakened souls into the I am avatar consciousness of light. As I am wrapped now in this beautiful diamond flame of innocence, of purity, of love. Holding this beautiful diamond flame of innocence within my loving heart at the center of my chest and extending this outwards now to all awakened souls as we come together as one heart, one love, one unified field of light. Inomosuaia kionokoakia Inomosuaia they are this beautiful diamond light moves into each one of my chakras and every single subatomic particle of my beingness. And now within and around my body, I start to gently move my body from side to side and backwards and forwards, seeing how my body is feeling at this time. As I take a moment to place my hands energetically or physically upon my loving heart, as I say to myself, I love you, giving my full name now. I love you. I love you. Having a sense of my magnificence, my light. There's this flame of divinity walking this path of love. 
feeling the support, feeling this love, knowing how much I am celebrated, appreciated, and deeply loved. That all is well. All is well. Breathing in love, breathing out love. In the knowing of myself as vibrating stargate of divine love as this flame of divinity. I have a sense now of grounding into the crystal heart of Mother Earth, into the diamond light clusters, into the crystal light grid, and now into the inner Earth sun, connecting to the inner sun. And from here now connecting to the golden sun within my loving heart. To the sun, to the central sun, another great central sun as I extend my antikaran and my bridge of light through all dimensions of light into the cosmic heart of Mother Father God. And as I draw upon the essence of my beloved, I am present and so light. I have a sense, I've been wrapped now in this beautiful copper gold flame of solar Christ consciousness through the overlighting of Helios and Vesta. As this beautiful copper gold flame ignites within my loving heart and within every subatomic particle of my body, I have a sense of the crystalline matrix coming online as the carbon-based cells shift in frequency and thought as I clear out. False beliefs and judgments no longer needing to be experienced in this beautiful diamond light and in this beautiful copper gold frequency of solo Christ consciousness as the subatomic particles of my body spin an increased light frequency I take myself along the timelines that I am still needing to integrate through my unique experiences of all that I have experienced to know myself as love, of the traumas that are still being played out at a cellular level, of relationships that I still need to let go of, to shift, to forgive, to love. I breathe in love, I hold my breath for as long as I can, and I breathe out all that is being released as this flame of divinity, as a sacred transfiguring flame of love. Breathing in love, holding my breath, and breathing out through my nose or mouth.
Yes, you are. Please laugh. So you can connect your consciousness into the places that are showing you that wants to be more and more loved. You are the one that creates healing within you with God that you are. Just now by allowing love to love. I am the light of God, the light of God I am. I am the light of God, the light of God I am. As I draw to me all the subpersonality aspects of myself that need my love, as I take them into my loving heart, I embrace them. I love them. Welcome, anger. I see you are so angry. And I am here to give you a voice. I am here to love you, to appreciate you. I am here for you. I am sorry I have put others before you, but I am here for you now. And I am not going anywhere. I love you. I love you. I love you. Welcome, sadness. I see you are so sad. And I give you this voice to be sad. It is okay to feel whatever you are feeling. But I am here for you. I am here to embrace you, to love you, to accept you, to let you know that you are not alone, to let you know how deeply you are loved, how deeply you are appreciated. I love you. I love you. I love you. You can melt your heart, you can melt your body, you can melt all your muscles and tension, you can melt because you are safe now, you are safe within your own beauty, within the oneness that you are with the universe of love. So melt down, and melt with your breath, into trust. And now as I deepen once more into breathing in love and breathing out love, I lift my consciousness even higher now connecting into the galactic central sun and having a sense of the golden rose galaxy, the merging of the Milky Way with the Andromedan galaxy, bringing a deeper rebalancing of my divine masculine and divine feminine spirits. As I see my divine feminine spirit to the left of me, and my divine masculine spirit to the right of me. And as I merge these aspects of myself into a deeper level of wholeness and grace and appreciation and compassion, acceptance and love, 
the kundalini energy just ignites as this beautiful diamond and copper gold flame moves now through each one of my chakras spinning to the fibonacci ratios through the base chakra of eight to five through the sacral chakra of 13 to eight through the solar plexus chakra of 21 to 13 through the heart of 34 to 21 through the throat of 55 to 34 from the third eye of 89 to 55 and from the crown chakra into the Fibonacci ratio of 144 to 89 bringing online now the unity Christed codes of 144 and 144,000. Breathing in love, breathing out love, as the Kundalini energy ignites, and as I feel and sense the new beginnings, the new focuses, the new creative gifts igniting through the dormant DNA, the merging of this divine alchemical marriage of my divine masculine and divine feminine spirits. I have a sense now of lifting my consciousness into the cosmic heart of Mother, Father, God. Hearing the chants of Kadoish, 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 Adonai, Sibiot. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. Kadoish, 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 Adonai, Sibiot. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. Kadoish, 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 Adonai, Sibiot. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. Surrounded by the angelic realms. Surrounded by all the luminous beings of light and now wrapped in this once more in this beautiful diamond flame of light that ignites 54 feet into amateur around me. I see within this imprintings of the flower of life expanding now into the fruit of life. of Metatron's cube and all the geometries of light coming online. The cube, the tetrahedron, the star tetrahedron, the icosahedron, the dodecahedron. Flower of life. As the sphere ignites within the base chakra, as the cube ignites within the sacral, as the octahedron ignites within the solar plexus, Star tetrahedron within the heart. These beautiful diamond light grids come online around my body. The icosahedron within the throat chakra, the dodecahedron within the third eye, and now the fruit of life within the crown chakra. I bring online the angelic templates, and in particular, the templates of grace and appreciation. which I feel and sense as I move deeper to loving, accepting and appreciating myself and my beautiful gifts. And further to this, as I deepen into compassion, insight and knowing the threefold flame of power, love and wisdom ignites within my loving heart. As I bring online now through the Antikarana, the rainbow bridge of light, 
the cosmic crystalline bridge of light, which ignites now as I merge once more with the magnetic level of my beloved I am presence of all 12 higher selves and all 12 soul rays of each of these higher selves, all 144 soul rays of which I am one of my beloved I am presence. We ignite the cosmic crystalline bridge of light. As I now breathe in as though sucking in through a straw and blowing out. And coming back now into my rhythmic breath, breathing in love and breathing out love. Feeling and sensing these angelic templates ignite with the purity of Mother Father God. Ignite with the innocence of my innocent, magical child. of Divine Mother is loving all of you in your inner child as one is in the field of love within I now take these beautiful angelic templates and wrapped in this diamond flame of divine love and the threefold flame of power, love, and wisdom. I place this within the hearts of all humanity, all souls, choosing to step into the next level of their blossoming, magnificence, and light as one heart, one unified field of light. I find myself now coming back gently into my sacred space as I sense this toroidal field of light ignite from within my loving heart, my Christed heart. This toroidal field of light that has its upward spiral, this vortex going up, this vortex coming down, spinning initially in a counterclockwise direction from the bottom and a clockwise direction to the top, they now synchronize into a spinning vortex through the funnel ignition, spinning in a clockwise direction, joined through the heart of love, the crystalline bridge of cosmic Christ consciousness. In the deepest alignment that I can experience as this flame of divinity through the light of God, the light of God I am. I feel and sense a deepening of my creative gifts coming online, of the appreciation of everything that I am and have and experience as this flame of divinity, as a son and daughter of God. And as I come back fully present now, into my body, grounding once more into the crystal heart of Gaia. I have a sense of this light grid within and around me. The unity grid, the 144 grid 
of divine love as I connect now into the 12 golden solar sun disk disks within and around the sacred earth of solar crystalline consciousness and come back to the golden sun within my heart the threefold flame of power, love, and wisdom wrapped in the diamond flame of purity, innocence, and love. Embracing and loving myself as my beloved I am presence, my magical innocent child. Knowing all is love. I am love. I am loved. I am celebrated. I am appreciated. I am one with Mother, Father, God. I am one with all life. Waia ino maia kinoa ino kuakia kia ino suaia kina. my own time now I gently come back fully into my sacred space grounded and centered through the crystal heart of Mother Earth the cosmic heart of Mother Father God I gently open my eyes now 
looking through my master eyes at all of life around me, knowing how much I am celebrated, appreciated, and deeply loved. All is well. All is well. Wow, that was quite beautiful. <laughs> I have to say, I really enjoyed their co-creation. Thank you, Dorota. Very lovely. What a beautiful angel voice just to add to those angelic templates and energies coming through at this time for all of us as we deepen into the air. It's all this month of August and what's coming through with the new moon and the this next Stargate opening. I think that's August the 29th. And lots of beautiful things happening as we shift into September. But there's September equinox energies and really, again, the time of changing of seasons and an accelerated level of just deepening into greater levels of expression of our creative gifts, but in a greater level of calm and ease and grace and appreciation in all that we do and all that we are. And to all the places and spaces within ourselves, so loving, we just give them big hugs and let them know how much they are appreciated too. So we're going to come to end this, uh, I think, session quite shortly. So if you'd like to unmute yourselves, uh, AD and Francis, what we can do is just go around for a very last time to find out if there's anything that you might like to add or if there's anything that you're doing in terms of uh, consultations or workshops or something that you would like to offer or to share at this time in this closing circle. And we'll start with you very briefly, Frank. It's just, again, a lot of noises. So we can just um, hear from you and then we can put you on mute for a moment. Yes. Uh, I'm unmuted. Can everyone hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yes, uh, coming. If you're anybody's in the states listening to this, you are welcome to come out to a one day seminar. There is a fee for it. Uh, you need to email me at iam dot circle of grace with the number one at the end at gmail dot com, and it's for Saturday, October the twentieth, twenty eighteen, from ten a.m. Mountain Time to five p.m. Mountain Time. I'll be talking about meditation, numerology how to write affirmations, affirmative prayers, and decrees. We'll be sensing and scanning auras so that we know how to see the auras of energy fields around objects, places, people, events, and things. And then the last part is the spirit of the pendulum, how to work with the pendulum so that you become the pendulum. <laughs> and you don't necessarily have to have the object of the pendulum itself. Of course, I'm on every Thursday on Blog Talk Radio for a decree and it shall be. And it's a wonderful show that I do a lot of teaching from my book, Dancing in the Light of Divine Grace. And uh, people just email me, I'm always available. I'm working with people all the time, whether they're here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, or New York City, Chicago, LA, clients from all over, and mentoring people that are, many of my students are in uh, teachers in South Korea right now. <laughs> So they reconnect with me or uh, down in the UK somewhere. So I would just like to say that uh, the spirit of grace, the spirit of my mother, Grace, is so happy <laughs> that we're doing this and that you're talking about the principles of grace and compassion and unconditional love. And my last note is that Akhenaten, who I channel sometimes, he says that we are all blessed and that more and more people shall come this way because the world is ready. Mm -hmm. Mother Gaia has been waiting for us to arrive and we have. And so we say, our grace is your grace. And I always say until next time, remember that divine grace is a blessing as we are alive and well in the age of remembrance. I love everybody. Thank you for having me here today. Thank you. Thank you, Francis. So beautiful. And I have such a special connection too with Akhenaten, sitting in one of those multi-dimensional timelines. So I'd love you to hear that too. 
And what a beautiful show, having your, you know, the energy of your mom join us and, and really at the same time activating the templates of grace and appreciation. So, so really wonderful. Thank you. There's also, of course, the opportunity to just put all your details, put your website details, although we sent that to just put it in, the, you know, kind of just put it in the panel box or um, on the Facebook comments page so that people can just catch up with you that way too. This would be wonderful and most appreciated. So wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Francis. You are certainly much appreciated. Thank you. Thank Great. Adi. Yes. Hi. Um, we've got so I've got some amazing workshops coming up, and that is the womb workshop where I'm joining together with a very powerful Peruvian shaman. Her name is Carol George. Uh, who is bringing in the 13th Monarchy Riot, uh, which will be very exciting, as well as working with a, um, an EFT practitioner and matrix re-imprinting to go through the various trimesters of the birthing, of, of actually the pregnancy. And this is to rebirth our crystalline self. So by working with uh, shamanic meditation and working with, EFT and matrix re-imprinting, you have the opportunity to come into that crystalline presence. So that's coming up at the end of October, last weekend, October, Johannesburg, followed by November, early part of November in uh, Cape Town. Um, if anybody does want to have Skype consults with me just to work with their pain body on any kind of level, level whether it's physical or emotional, I am available for Skype consultations. You can always just email me. Uh, with regard to my teaching modality, I'm putting it together. I finally got the training in, so just look, look out for my training. I will be doing over a period of about six to eight months uh, in-depth training around all the various modalities that I have learned to empower each one of you to become great therapists and intuitives. And I just want to thank you so much, and Rita for inviting me. Um, it's really been a delight to, and an honor to meet each and every single one of you and to be in this divine light circle. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you, AD. And it'll be good. Maybe you and Carol would want to just do a couple of tele webinars as well. Yes. So you can yes. more into that international market Thank that you, you might do with some of the work that you do. You can just set it up where you just do, you know, a couple of tele webinars. Uh, you know, maybe one, uh, would you just putting it out there as a promotional video of what you can offer? And then one, obviously, where you're charging for it, because, of course, we're still in the 3D world. And, you know, although we're blessed by grace <laughs> and certainly by the abundance of the universe itself, uh, you know, money is just an energy currency that sure. is useful for all of us. So, yes, wonderful. And it's so wonderful to be connecting with you too, AD. Thank you. Thank you for thank coming on the show and sharing your wisdom oh, and, and beautiful you. energy with and us. Your thank beautiful, you. beautiful life that you carry. Thank you. All right. So we get to Torota. Yes, thank you so much for this opportunity because, um, yes, I have... Um, I'm working with my Polish um, clients a lot, but um, I've been working a little bit around the world with, with English speaking people. And I feel they are clients, they are clients, they are friends who are waiting for me to connect with them. And um, so if you feel after today, if you feel that you are bounding through the heart with me and you would like to, um, transform using the voice and, and, and the vibration that I can offer, then, then you're welcome. I'm doing workshops also online, but what I'm doing is, um, is also vibration every week. I connect via Zoom as well, and I do this kind of activation. Thank you. You, you. you froze there just for a minute. But I wanted to say that co-creation that we did right now was just so beautiful. And I feel, you know, you would work so well as well. 
in terms of working with others with your gifts. So if there's, you know, kind of the, I'm speaking out there to the Light Tribe, to those that, um, to those that, uh, you know, are able to uh, host workshops that are getting out there that may be looking for someone to partner with as a sound alchemist therapist, that, you know, to just put it out there, that Dorota, I think you would be an absolute perfect uh, match for so many people, really that, you know, the, the sound frequency coming through is a really angelic frequency. I can feel that. And, you know, I certainly work a lot with, with energy and vibration too. And I'm sure many of us can, you know, once we experience this lovely transmission that we did together. So synergistically and uh, in just such harmony that you will really start to feel that too. So just putting it out there, that's, that's certainly another opportunity or avenue to explore coming together deeper in our own co-creations. I know that I recently did that in a couple of tele-webinars, but tomorrow I'm hosting a tele-webinar on my own, which is what I used to do. <laughs> so I'm looking forward again to just, you know, sharing that aspect or energy as we go deeper into these angelic templates, I'm creating a series of invocations, actually working with the archangels who are also just such incredible, beautiful beings that I love to work with. You know, I've worked with over the years with just uh, absolutely every type of um, illumined being from on high, whether it's the Christed extraterrestrials and the mighty Elohim and the solar logi. And um, the archangels are certainly one of my favorites and everyone has a unique frequency every core group and the archangelic energy for me is very much that energy that we're talking about of purity that's coming through and so so beautiful to be experiencing uh you know that over lighting and the invocations that we move into then will be working on different levels of activating the diamond light body while connecting to the archangels and integrating and experiencing these templates in the forms of invocations and affirmations. So you all certainly would be most welcome to come to that. And I will put the link there too up on the page, but it will be found on my Facebook page anyway, which is where we're all connecting at this time. So beautiful, precious hearts and the light tribe. It's just always so wonderful to connect with so many of you and just know if you have your gifts and sharings and you'd like to take it out to um, a larger platform, you know, please come on to our show, share with us what you're doing as we are just really deepening into supporting one another as the Light Tribe community. And certainly from all of our hearts and to yours and to the cosmic hearts of creation, blessings in love. Namaste. Thank you, Thank you. Namaste. Science. New Earth Cosmic Conversations.